I don't know what I've done. What have I done? Don't even know. So, yeah. So I found this presentation mode thing. I think it would be cool, but I just I don't know how to get back. Alt, Alt, please help me. Um, I already do Alt and then oh, there's something. Gosh, there we go. Anyways, we can we can do this. It's okay. So this is the game state. This is the game state manager, and we're working with the uh, the key. Let's work with the key handler first. Um, so yeah, welcome back, anybody. Blah blah blah. Not gonna lie, I found this online, um, but I made some couple changes, and I just found it really cool. Um, a cool way to actually make this event handler class thing. So first thing we're gonna do, we actually implement uh, key listener. So that actually, I wonder if I can do this. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to make that abstract. Um, where's the thing widget? Come on. There it is. There you are. Implement methods. Just, just, okay, all of them. We want all. So here are the methods that are implemented because we implemented them to the key list here. And we need to actually have a, a, a list of the stuff. Um, that doesn't belong there. Actually, this belongs there. So we're gonna have like this inner class thing going on with this new thing, which is pretty cool. You don't have to, but it's cool because it's readable. It's cool if it's readable. If, it, if it's like not, then don't do it. <laughs> do it anyways, because it might be the only way. So we have this public class, and and we can have like some integers here. Um, I'm not sure where I found this. So I'm just gonna, I can't, that's why I can't really say, like, where I found this, like, code from. But I changed it, so it's not technically, but I mean, it's inspired. How about that? <laughs> it's an art form, yes it is. Coding is kind of like an art form. Um, it's, the only thing artsy about it is how you, the way you solve a problem, that's, that's where the art comes in, really. It's, I guess it's mathematical art in action. So yeah, it gets kind of boring sometimes though, because you're like, you're like, what? Why? Where's my numbers? You know? But sometimes it's like, who needs numbers? Because that's 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 the that's the moment when it works. But when it's not working, you're like, why did this not work? But then again, when it is working, you're like, why does this work? So I mean, either way, you still ask the question. Um, so we're going to absorb it. We do presses and stuff. Uh, should I explain it? Yes, I should. But not right now. I'm in a, I'm in a mode. I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm in the mode of coding, man. You can't slow that down. That's whack. Uh, why is this red? Is there a reason? Oh, cause, no, yeah, that should be you. We should do that. Yeah, okay. Because an array list, yeah. Anyways, array list extends list. Is it? Does that sound right? Yeah, it does sound right. Okay. So basically, what this is is for every key, there's going to be a class for it. You're like, what? That's crazy. Every key? You know how many keys you have in a keyboard? Yes, but hold up. Not every key. It's gonna have a key to it. We only want a couple keys because this is a game, right? We're not gonna freaking. This is not like a Microsoft Word or whatever. So only some keys are gonna have classes to them. And in that class, you can actually see if it's being toggled, if it's pressed, or uh, how many times it's been pressed, and if it's been pressed down or not, you know. And then pressed down or not. Okay. And then we have tick. Tick is basically if it's being clicked or not. Not so much as it's been pressed, but as so much as it is, has it been clicked. Two different things. Um, pressing consisting of you pressing it down until you release it. Uh, a click is basically when you press it down and then you release it. That's a click. Press down, release. Bam. 
right? Now here's where it blows my mind sometimes. Actually, it doesn't. But I mean, hey, whatever. Can I make this fun? So again, we have to have every key have a have a class to it. So the up up class whatever up object is going to be associated with W. But you see how you'll see how we will do that association. Um, and then we have left. Of course, we can have the right. It's it's a good way to actually do this kind of way to have to have a class because not only W A C and D can be um, connected to this key class, but also the the arrows could be too, and also the um, number paths. So. Anyways, uh, we have a key for attack, of course. Uh, just copy and paste. What am I doing this for? Um, come on, go, go down. Then here we can just say menu, and then here we can say enter, and then here we can say escape. So you can guess what those three are for. And what else? I think that's it for now. So we're going to do public void uh, release all. So this is for um, for if it's being pressed, you can release it, basically. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? Um, so if keys are being pressed, but then no longer pressed anymore, release it. Or, you know, when we want to. Like, if they're being pressed, then just release it. That's what we're saying. Manually, just hard code it. Release all. Uh, then public void tick. This this is used for um, clicked clicking the uh, keys, I guess. We kind of use this method as well for um, for the mouse, but differently, because we don't have that many mouse buttons. So, yeah. We don't have to put in an array list or anything. So, put that in a for loop. Uh, for loops is going to be common in development, uh, but I try to stay away from for loops because you know we want that big O to be kind of small if we can. One would be amazing, but probably not. Probably can't do one. Or add, uh, o of one because right now we're not even doing O of one. So I mean, yeah. And this is going to be the constructor. We're going to put the constructor in here. It's kind of weird that we actually put it in here. Um, let's just put that up. Just put that up there. Make it, make it look. Wait, oops. No, nope. stop it. There we go. And then in this game key handle, there we're gonna put um, the game panel, which will change the game panel. Now that I think about it. But so yeah, so we have the game panel. Uh, we're gonna have to do Alt Enter or whatever for something. Oh, we have to like import it. Yeah, it's imported. Okay. Then we're gonna do game dot add key listener. Then we can do this, of course. And then we can start thinking about doing this stuff here. We're gonna have another uh, method called toggle, and that's gonna allow us to read um, key events and stuff. Uh, and that's that's not right. Pressed. There we go. And so now, hmm, I think that's okay. Why is this red? Oh, because you can't find it. Oh, that's why. Where is it in Java? I think it's in utils, right? Awesome. So now we don't have that red anymore. Oh, we still have red. No, 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 we don't. So now we're going to finally um, associate some of these classes to a key code or to a keyboard or to a key on the keyboard. So, yeah, key events is a. We're, gonna, we're actually calling the static, um, static variable. That's W. And toggle. Then we're going to call the class method thing and call it pressed. That's all we do.
And we're gonna do that for every for everything we got over here, for every key we have. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven. Okay, so we got down, uh, left, right, uh, menu, or are we gonna attack? <laughs> Just try to keep it in order. I don't think it's in order, really. Is it in order? It is so far. Yeah, okay, so then we got menu, and enter and escape. Escape. Cool, so now we got that method good and done for. Then we actually do this, and here we're gonna actually call that method toggle. And I'm gonna pass in the uh, key event. And since it's being pressed, we can call it true. Same thing here. Toggle. E then false, because it's not being released anymore. Or it's not being pressed anymore. And here we can just say do nothing. Because we're handling that differently anyways. We're handling that with this method here, tick. Or this method here, tick. We're using both of them. Because then we have to use this. And that causes this. So you get it. I mean, it's kind of understandable, right? So uh, this is basically a handler. And every time something is being pressed, it has a code to it. So we, we, get, the, we get the code. And then we check if that code is equal to a key. For example, oh, for example, W, S, um, left is A, that's the A key, down, and um, tag is what? Space? It's called space. Where's space? Space. Menu, what's going to be the menu? Um, probably E. Why not E? Then enter, of course, is uh, the enter. Then we want escape. There we go. So we have that. Actually, we might have to have every freaking key counted for because, like, you know, if you want to enter like the the name of something. So yeah, we can have a separate thing here like this and have all the keys. But for now, we can just do it that way. Um. So yeah, that's it for the key handler. We probably need to go to the game panel because it's gonna give us an error right here and all we do for this is just type in that and then we good. should be good there's no errors great now shift a 10 there we go oh we did nothing with the input <laughs> so let's go to play state and actually do something with the input so all we have to do um is key dot up dot down basically so we, we're checking if it's down. If it is, we could just say uh, W is being, or we could say W is uh, being pressed and shift F10. And every time we press W, we could see right there that W is being pressed. And we have to make sure that we're on the, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I didn't know we can do that. And I just need to do that <laughs> so I can get this. There we go. So make sure you're focused. As you can see there, that's working beautifully. All right. So back to how this was. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to do this anymore. Uh, what time is it? 14 minutes into that. Awesome. We're going to keep this short, hopefully. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And goodbye.